Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do a lesson 3.2 Relate Addition and Multiplication and our essential question is how is multiplication like addition and how is it different? Okay, so let's unlock the problem To make a needs three apples to make one loaf of apple bread each loaf has the same number of apples how many apples does to make a need to make four loaves? So let's look at these questions. How many loaves is to make a making? So here we need four loaves. Okay, how many apples are in each loaf? We need three apples for one loaf. So it's, they are three apples for each loaf. How can you solve the problem? So each loaf needs three apples. We need four loaves. So we'll add the three apples four times. So we will add three four times. Or we can say we can skip counting by three four times okay so here is one way we will use four circles to show the four loaves and we'll draw three counters in each circle to show the apples to make a needs for each loaf so here is three 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 okay so let's see how many in total so it's a three plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 which is 3 plus 3 6 plus 3 9 9 plus 3 12 so to make a needs how many apples 12 apples to make four loaves of apple bread okay so let's go to the next page we have another way and that we will use the multiply so when you combine equal groups you can multiply to find how many in all so like in this example we have four equal groups four equal groups each has the same number of apples each has three apples so four loaves and each loaf is three apples so we'll draw three counters inside each circle and then since there are the same number of counters in each circle you can multiply to find how many in all so like this multiplication is another way to find how many there are all together in equal groups so if we have four groups and each is three apples or three counters we can make it like this four multiply three so four groups of three is four multiply three which is equal to 12 okay so we call the four and three factors the four is a factor and the three is a factor and the answer we call it the product so 12 is the product so if I ask you what is the product of 4 and 3 you multiply 4 by 3 you say it's a 12 so you add the 3 4 times it's a 4 groups of the 3 okay so this is how we read it guys 4 times 3 equals 12 so 4 times 3 equals 12 Okay, so again, the factors are the numbers multiplied. The 4 and 3, we call them factors. The product is the answer to multiplication problem. So the product here is 12. Okay, so let's go for share and show. Write related addition and multiplication sentence for the model. Okay, so here we have four groups of five. So can be 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 
So 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 5 is 20. Okay, so how can we write it in multiplication? So it will be like this. We have four groups, we write four. And each group has five counters. So we make it four, multiply five, or four times five, which is equal to 20. Okay. Draw a quick picture to show the equal groups. Then write related addition and multiplication sentences. So here, number two, three groups of six. So we can draw three groups like this. One, two, three. And each group has six small circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, okay, to write it, it will be what plus what plus what equal what? We have here 6 plus 6 plus 6. So, 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. Okay, to write it as a multiplication, we write the number of groups. We have here 3 groups times... Each group has 6, so 3 times 6, which is equal to 18. Here, number 3, 2 groups of 3. So we need 2 groups. I'll draw 2 groups. And each group has 3. So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So these are 2 groups of 3. So what plus what? We have here 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3 equals 6. So here to write it as a multiplication sentence. How many groups? We have two groups. Multiply. Each group has 3. So 2 times 3 equals 6. Hope you guys understand this lesson. Have a nice day and goodbye.